Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. And yes, I'll start this video off in a different angle yet again. Um, I was set up because I was filming a TikTok, so we're just rolling with it whilst we're here. Um, but today's video is going to be Instagram choosing my roots for a week. Now, I'm starting this a little bit later than I hoped because things got a bit chaotic. I wasn't feeling well. I'd been away. Things got a bit crazy. Okay. So we're starting to spend later than we've planned. So I'm not going to be doing this for as long as I had hoped, but that's fine. We're going to get one or two books in for this video, hopefully. So the first one I did on my Instagram, which you will see up here, was the memory book by Rowan Coleman um, versus the one from Andy Blake. Um, Lake. Those were the two options. Most you can see on the screen. Our first book was, in fact, one for my enemy by olivia blake now i love this edition um i was going to start this yesterday but if i'm being honest i was too scared to take this edition of the book outside my house <laughs> if i'm being honest book readers you know the feeling i was too scared so we are going to get started on it today um i have no idea how long this book is we're looking at like I just picked kind of like two opposite books and kind of went with it. Um, 404 pages, so that's fine. We can do this. Um, so I will get started with this at some point today, hopefully, she says. Um, I've got a lot of shit to do and catch up on, so it is there to be read, and it will be read. Um, but yeah, and then I might, what I'll do is tonight or tomorrow, I put out the story for the next one and we will see what the next book will be. But then we have the next one ready to go. So yeah. Chaos crazy. This video is probably not gonna go the way I want it to go just because of how it all, everything's fallen. We're still gonna have a good time and still get some good reading done. So I will catch you guys once I start that one. Hey guys, so I'm coming in with a little quick update to say that I have started one for my enemy. I've got to page 57, I've just got to act 2, part 1, um, so we've had them do that little meet, I do have Larry's Larissa on in the background there, we're watching her, um, so we have got the thing, I am liking, I'm enjoying it, and we've had them like meet like the two siblings from either side that, like, where the kind of like romance I assume comes into it, We've had them, we, we've had like one of the situations arrive between the families, like um, the issues going on. Also, I don't know too much because I'm, I'm not that far into it. So I don't really have much I can say and if I don't want to spoil anything. But I would love to keep reading, like genuinely. I'm so tired that I can't keep my eyes physically open. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them into bed. And because I want to lower the lights, I'm not going to be able to really see this book that well in the lights i'm gonna like kind of dim them a little bit i'm gonna put my wall ones on and dim them so i am gonna pick up a kindle book um i'm gonna pick up my dark romeo because i keep seeing it everywhere and i do want to read it so i'm gonna start that one as well um just to have like something smaller to read because i don't I'm not gonna quite fully manage with like a hardback and paper and stuff so i'm just going to my kindle for tonight for a little bit longer um, and really kind of knock me out with it kind of thing so yeah we're gonna do that and i'm gonna put something in, in the morning hopefully get up early read some before my camera gets there um and then obviously it's going into the work day hopefully if i can get started my work day sooner i can end it sooner and we can read and read and fingers crossed get quite a bit of the way through this book tomorrow if not finish it i'm gonna put out probably tonight i might put out might find a couple of books um for my instagram pick and see what they say what they decide i might do one of those tonight actually might do that for this for this video pretty much i'm do the other option for this video because i think i'm only gonna get two books in if i'm lucky so we shall 
Let's decide, let's decide together. Let's decide while we're here, guys. What do I want to do? What book do I want to do? I don't know. I generally don't know, guys. I'm really lost. Um, let's go for... Obviously, I can't take the picture because I filmed my phone. Oh. I will take the picture and then I'll show you guys the results tomorrow. <laughs> My head's like right there. And um, so I might do the Thursday Murder Club because that's this month's Wolfpack Book Club pick. So I might do that one. And I might do it against. What book haven't I read up here? What book here on my shelving have I not read? I could put this against. So this is kind of like a cosy mystery, so I want to kind of maybe go for like kind of the complete opposite if I can. So like maybe like fancy or romance. Romancy. I don't know. I'm actually lost. What do I do? I like I can ask you guys as if you guys can give me the answer. You know what? Do we do it against? powerless do we do these two because they're like complete opposites as well i think this is the of action i'm going to take this picture upload it and i'll see you guys tomorrow with results and reading updates and stuff. hey guys so i'm kind of in an update um i have done some reading today um i did work i did digital live i been stressed because my delivery hasn't come so now i can't get an order out orders should i say so i'm a little bit stressed so we're gonna chill and read basically um but yeah i have made a dent i'm now up to act three which is page 125 um i'm enjoying it it is picking up it is difficult to get into this kind of stuff like writing is it's written like a play like shakespeare romeo you and juliet kind of obviously vibes um so yeah it's getting used to it which is kind of interesting i do like the little artwork um at the beginning of each act i do look forward to those um but yeah so i'm obviously we've got a, a bit of a deep dive into the characters not really too much because obviously with each act and part we're getting different perspectives within the story and different characters so with a little bit back and forth kind of vibes um of what's going on so yeah it's interesting it's kind of hard to get a vibe on the characters and understand them i don't know what happens with the camera there um but yeah so i'm trying to still figure some of them out um but we are obviously like i said deeper into the plot now we've had a big thing happen and it's like i'm intrigued now to see how this is gonna go because there's definitely gonna be some obviously difficulties between the families is the nicest way of putting it but there's going to be some issues within the family one this specifically that i know of i'm intrigued to see if the other one's going to be the same but yeah this is going to become very interesting in what's about to happen um i can't i really can't say much about giving it away Obviously, it is very much Romeo and Juliet vibes, but it's very much more Romeo and Juliet vibes between two pair of siblings, like two bro brothers, two of the sisters, and very much two of them vibes. So that's where like my intrigue comes into it because I'm interested to see where one of them is about to go because what's just happened. If you've read it, you will know what happened in that too at the end there. Um. So yeah. I'm intrigued, so I'm gonna keep reading some more. Hopefully, if I can get to Act Four tonight, um, and then when I sit down, I may end up come back to my Dark Romeo as well. Um, but yeah, my aim is to get to Act Four tonight on this book, and then I'll see. Hopefully, maybe finish up tomorrow. But I did put the polling out for the next book. I done Thursday Murder Club and Powerless. As you can see by the poll here, 
powerless one by 83% to 17%. Um, so we'll be reading powerless next to this video. Um, I did find an audiobook, so I will be going between an audiobook and a physical book. I do have his on my shelf, but I didn't get it down. Um, but yeah, we'll be going between audiobook and physical for that one. I do have sprints on Sunday, so hopefully we'll get a fair bit of reading done then. And hopefully, yeah, we'll have two books done for this video. Like I said, things just fell apart when I didn't get this video started, when I wanted to get it started. So, but yeah, we're going to do, do it again another time. Hopefully things will be a bit more easier. Things will play out a bit more nicer for me, but yeah. It's still fun. We're still having fun with this reading. and. I'm going to go back to reading, I'm probably going to change into my pyjamas, get cosy because I'm shivering like mad, I'm very disorientated, I don't know if you guys have noticed but I'm very disorientated, um, so yeah, I'm going to go and do that and I'll probably catch you guys later maybe. Hey guys, so I've been really slacking in updates because like loads of shit has gone on, like I'm having really big issues with Amazon at the moment. So I'm getting really late on my subscription boxes. I mean, they were going to be late anyway because I hadn't been seeing them well and stuff like that. And I'm just being an arsehole. So I'm so <laughs> having issues. There's a lot of shit going on. But dramas aside, I do have some big reading updates for you guys. Um, so let's start with one for my enemy. I have made a good dent into it. I'm now 60% of the way through. Not to page 253. Uh, act 4 part 10 so we have not much left to go this should get finished to my during sprints hopefully if not a little bit after sprints depending on how things go because we're starting sprints in the afternoon so i may not be on as long as normal but definitely going on there for a while because i'm not good birthday sprints because it's my birthday this coming week so i'm having a big birthday like bash on wind sprints and stuff so yes with my enemy, I'm really liking it, I really am. But that being said, it has gone in a direction that I'm now a bit like, hmm. I don't know how I feel about how the way it's gone. Um, I, it's really hard because I don't want to do spoilers. Um, I'm conflicted in the sense of I understand the direction, I can see why. Do I feel like the author could have maybe gone down a different route with it? Yes. And do I feel like that route may have been a better option? Yes. I feel like there's definitely some different ways the author could have gone about with this one to make it that bit more. How do we put this? Um, impactful, maybe? I think it's maybe the right word. I'm going to go with this one. Um, impactful. But yeah, just the way it's gone, I'm not really feeling it. I mean, things could change and things could get better, and I can't hope they do, and I hope something's going to happen that's kind of already happened, but with a different character, because I think that would really um, yeah, what's the word, guys? What's the word I'm looking for? Um, What's the fucking word? It will like. It's like it will claw it back. It will. Oh my god. You guys can think of the word I'm trying to think of. Put it in the comments because, like, generally, I probably still wouldn't have thought of it by the time this video goes out. Um, yeah, like, claw it back. Like, redeem it. She got it. She found it. She found the word she was looking for. Redeem it. If it does that thing that's already happening from the character to another character, it will redeem it for me. But yeah, we shall see. We shall see what happens on that one. But yeah, this one's going to go on hold again for night. Because if anybody has read Libby Blake's writing, it can be a lot. It can be a lot of information and very... I've lost another word. I can't think of another word. But we're not even going to try. You know, it's um, we went home tonight. Uh, because Libby Blake's rent is very like if you guys read the Six, guys, 
have, you will know that it can be very heavy um, in the writing. And it definitely flows into this one too. It's very heavy. Um, so it's all going well to tomorrow when I've had some sleep, a red energy drink, and some coffee, and over energize myself today on um, sweets and snacks and everything. Sorry, that one get on hold. But I did start the audiobook for Powerless, and I'm already very far into it. That's how much I have left. Um, on chapter 43, page 367. Like, I'm devouring this. Like, I'm in the audiobook. I'm listening at a very fast speed anyway because it's just the speed that I can, the fastest speed I can listen to it at the audio pace. Natural. natural. Um, that made no sense, but I'm going to keep moving on. Anyway, so yeah. And I'm really enjoying it. It's definitely giving Hunger Games vibes. Death. Let me give it Hunger Games vibes. I very much see the Hunger Games comparison for it. Um, and do you know what? The characters are very dynamic. I, f- I feel like that's got to be the word for the characters. Really, and their dynamics, of, like their individual dynamics, work so well with each other. Um, and yeah, the way it's. Um, playing out so far is interesting i know i'm intrigued to see where this is going to go because i know this is a trilogy and i know the next book's coming out next year um i can't remember the name of it. i literally saw a tiktok of it earlier and i cannot remember the name of it now um but yeah so yeah i'm in that point where it's literally all starting to like really really build to hit that point at the end of the book um like we're reaching a big crescendo and I'm intrigued to see how it's going to play out um, and what's going to happen between the two main characters. Because there's definitely some, there's a lot of banter, there's a lot of back and forth, there's a flirting and there's all of this. Like, it's just building and building and building. And, like, Kai and uh, Hayden, there we are, Kai and Hayden work so well together. And, like I said, their banter, their flirting, the tension is so good but then you have the moments that that all plays out and then all of a sudden it will like stop and they go back into their moments when they realize like we're in a competition against each other right now this shouldn't be happening and it will just like stop and then it comes back in again like they can't just they can't help but banter and flirt with each other and it's really nice to see and i'm like really really enjoying it um, we're just hitting, we've just had like the first part of the second trial, I believe it is, that I've read. So we've had the first trial, we're in the second trial. Um, so yeah, this is very interesting. And the way she's um, disguised herself within the elites to be a part of this, because she's not an elite, she's a normal person. She's a, I think, do they call themselves mundanes? I think it might come to days or the ordinary. Ordinary. So she's just an ordinary, no powers, nothing. Disguised and hidden in the world of the elites. Um, and she's in this task, this challenge now, um, where she's got a pretend she is an elite with a power. And it's quite interesting to see because the power that she's pretending to have is just a psychic, like a mind game. Like she can just read people and, and know people without having spoken to them like which is really interesting to see because don't get me wrong she could not disguise herself as having any other ability like when you see all the other abilities there's no way she could try and say that she has the others at all um and the way it's come about that she's had to hide that like make up this lie about who she is was interesting as well and that that's the route she's gone down so yeah, it's interesting to hear her background and stuff. I'm very intrigued to see where the author is going to take this and all those little things. So yes, what I will do is I will. I think I've got like something like an hour and a half, hour and fifty minutes. I think left with the audio. So we will finish the audio book in the morning. Um, where I will hopefully have my freaking Amazon order. Packing my subscription boxes and get them sent out. 
she hopes she hopes um but yeah i'm gonna get some work done in the morning listen to the audiobook and then finish this book hopefully before sprints and then it means i can focus on more of my enemy and get that finished for you guys and i will get some b-roll guys i promise to get some b-roll so we'll do that I will see you guys tomorrow, probably before sprints when this one's finished, and then after sprints when that one's finished. But I will get B-roll in between. Um, but if you guys want an update on my dark room, you know, I know it's not one of the books that Instagram picked for my reads this week. But if you want an update on this one, I'm loving it. I'm probably just more reading of it tonight. Maybe. See how I feel. Um, but I am... 50% of the way through, bang on 50% of the way through, and I am loving it, and I'm loving the dynamics between these characters, and their story, and how they've come about, and yes, I'm intrigued to see where this last half's going to go, and where it's going to hit that point, you know, when the main character's like, I will never love you, this is never going to happen, I'm ready to hit, see where the point is, that it's going to be like, it all changes, and to see where it, what happens when that happens. It just got, gets me all giddy. Do you know what I mean? It just gets me all giddy. So yeah. That's where I'm at. Well hopefully that book may be finished tomorrow as well. We'll see. And then I might be able to add that one into those videos. But yeah, this is where we're at. To be fair. You guys did pick me two big chunkers of a book. 400 plus book pages and 500 plus pages. So you guys picked me two chunkers of a book, so thank you for that. I mean, don't get me wrong, it does help my, help my page goal for the year. But that's what, that's what we're doing. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. So we have a good update for this video. Oh, very good. I finished Powerless this morning, and I've given it four and a half stars. It's really good, and I really loved it, and I really loved the characters and the dynamics, and like the way the author went with this story was interesting. Um, so I'm really intrigued to see what the payout is going to be with the rest of the books, like the next two books. Um, I have to wait until next year. I think it's May. I should have searched up when what that book was. Let me have a look, shall we? Um, so I remember saying to you guys yesterday about it. And let's have a look, shall we? Well, let's have a look, shall we? Reckless. Okay, so Reckless is the next book. So I'm intrigued to see what it's going to be, how it's going to go. I can imagine some of the play out. And I imagine there's going to be... Oh, how do I put this into words without spoiling anything? Um there's gonna be a massive massive i want to say, i'm gonna call it a conversation it's obviously we know it's gonna go further, probably be more than a conversation but i think that's probably the nicest way to put it um about what happened in this book and why and it's going to be interesting to see what the perspective is going to be of kai's um and Payden's as well from the other view um because this is dual pov so we were getting both their povs throughout the whole book which was i love when we get dual pov because then you're not left guessing what this other character is thinking and feeling like you actually see it all which makes such a difference like honestly but i'm intrigued to see what it's going to be in the next one and we did get a little bit of kit's pov at the very end um so i'm wondering if we're going to get his pov in the next book as well i'm intrigued or if there's going to be other characters that are going to come into play and we're going to get their POV. But yeah, um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And there's definitely something I didn't expect to happen there at the end. I was a bit like, whoa, what happened there with her? What happened there with her? If you read the book, you know. Thanks for me saying that. Um, but yeah, absolutely loved it. We have finished one book for this video. We are... We're, we're doing okay. <laughs> we're doing okay. Um, but no, I haven't got rune sprints still for like another hour or so yet. Um, so I'm gonna do some quick quirky bits on the laptop, uh, do my review and stuff with Powerless and kind of like set up. Um, and then if I've got a chance, I will read a little bit more of one of my enemy before we start sprints. Um, 
again i've got just over i've got about 150 odd pages to go for this book um, until it's finished so say i can get like at least a good 20 or something pages in before we start sprints would be good um and then i should be hopefully able to devour the rest of it in sprints fingers crossed we shall see it'll be fine it'll be fine it's all good all good so yeah that's where we're at that's what the update is for this video um i will get b-roll whilst reading um with my enemy in sprints because i couldn't really get b-roll whilst listening to an audiobook i mean like, it's really difficult um and i wasn't really doing anything eventful to film either um so yeah i shall I will update you guys later. I lost train of thought because I didn't know if you can come through. So, I have good news. I have just come off of Ridden Sprints and I have finished one for my enemy. We are done and dusted with this book, guys. Um, I'm thinking four stars. I'm thinking I think it's enough to be a four. Don't get me wrong, it's good and I loved it, but it just it became very confusing at one point with all the overlapping parts and just everything. I become a bit bundled and confused. Um, and then when it comes to the part of bringing it all back together, now it did confirm and resolve situations and we understood what was happening um but i could kind of in a way see how it was going to play out in the fact that what was going to happen i was unsure which characters were going to be involved in that situation um i had a dilemma and i was saying on sprints i was like there's characters that i love and i don't want to come to and there's characters that i don't quite love and i wouldn't mind it happening to it did happen to Karis I didn't mind it happening to. Don't get me wrong, I, it happened in a very, very sweet way. Ooh, let me see what's on Facebook. Um, it happened in a very, very sweet way. Um, after kind of having everything come to an end and concluding and understanding and stuff, it happened in a very sweet way. Um, and also, I'm very glad it didn't happen to a certain couple of characters. Um, but coming to the end here, the epilogue. I think I would have liked to have seen it from a different perspective. I personally wasn't a big fan of the epilogue and its conclusion, full on conclusion to everything that happened. So, yeah, I'm not. It's let me down just a little bit um, in the sense of parts of the book, and it started so quite well. I was enjoying it, um, but yeah, kind of let me down a little bit. Ow, I keep hitting myself with this book. Um, so yeah, four stars, I think it is. But we've done good. We've read two books, we had a four and a half, and we had a four star, which is really good. They're really good ratings, so we can't complain. Um, but I think that is where I'm going to end this video, guys. I've done the two choices. I would have liked to have got more in, but you know what? life happens as we kept saying in room spirits today life happens things get in the way and things don't quite go to plan um but that's okay that's fine it's what happens um but yeah i'm gonna end it out there i will see you guys in the next one let me know if you have read either of the books that i've mentioned um whether it's one for my enemy or powerless if you guys were in my room sprints today um put in reading sprints gang and you guys will know what I mean. So if you guys are in my room sprint today, comment down below Rune Sprints Gang so I know you guys are here. And yeah, because Rune Sprints Gang pulled through today. Okay, they pulled through today, guys. Um so yeah, I am gonna leave it there. I hope you guys have a lovely of time. Ugh, I can't speak. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, wherever you guys are. And I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Guys, don't forget to keep smiling, be kind, keep reading. Bye guys. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, 
Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.